This is the D3D brand carbon fiber PETG. So here is the sides of the material. These carbon fibers, but they're quite short. At least they look quite short here. So you can see where I cut it and where it broke off. This is the eSun brand <clears throat> carbon fiber nylon. And you can see it looks like the fibers are mostly aligned with the filament. Quite short fibers. These are chopped quite short. So here's an end view of the eSun brand carbon fiber nylon. And I ripped this piece in half plastic and the fibers how they are aligned in the filament see some right there but these fibers are quite short the 3dx brand nylon carbon fiber this is the gen 3 um, regular nylon and you can see the carbon fibers that they use in this filament are much larger diameter and they're much longer than the other filaments we've looked at. These fibers are way, way bigger than the other brands, which is significantly contributing to the stiffness of this filament. So here is the end view of that 3D X brand carbon fiber nylon. We can see there is definitely a lot more fibers and they're all aligned in the direction of the filament compared to the other brands. The ratio is much higher. There's a lot more carbon fiber. So this is an as printed part from the eSun brand carbon fiber nylon filament. And you can see here that the fibers do remain for the most part in the direction of the printing so you can see a little bit of the layer lines there uh, this is the top surface so that's each pass and you can see most of the fibers do line up with the direction of the print let's have a look at the edge so this is the perimeter and you can see that the fibers are lined up with the direction of the perimeter here. So this is the 3DX brand carbon fiber nylon. And here you can really tell that these fibers are all preferentially aligned with the uh, layer lines and with the direction of the print. You can see here where there is a little bit of a corner these fibers line up exactly with the original printing layer lines. They're not randomly oriented. So despite what people say, how the fibers might change direction somehow in the melting area of the nozzle, they become aligned as they're forced through the nozzle preferentially. So these are the 3DX brand here, the darker one, and the lighter one is the eSun brand carbon fiber nylon. This is the end grain, as you could call it, of the print where they broke off. Okay, so for direct comparison, here we have, this is the, on this side, the 3DX brand carbon fiber nylon. And then on this side, we have the eSun brand uh, carbon fiber nylon. And we can see on the end grain, these fibers are definitely in line. And you can see how they are all ripped through. On the eSun, these fibers are much smaller and there's less of them. But you can still see some fibers that line up with the direction of the print. And on the surface, you can tell a little bit more. So it's definitely 
true that the fibers in the carbon fiber filaments can line up with the direction of the print. Um, this one was printed with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and same with this one. 